USDA's latest crop progress report lists 67 percent of Nebraska's pastures and ranges in good to excellent condition. That's down 2 percent from a week ago, but on par with this point in 2015. At the Goodmanson Sandhills Lab open house here Wednesday, we talked with Nebraska Extension Range and Forage Specialist Jerry Valeski to get an update on forages and grasses in this part of Nebraska. Well, here in uh, kind of the West Center Sandhills, I think things look really good in terms of uh, the, the distribution of rainfall that we've had this past summer, as well as the amount. It's, it's been very good. Uh, there are some parts of Nebraska, as we go to the more Northwest, where uh, drought is, is, uh, is the word they're using, so it's, it's quite dry there. And then also a bit of an area in South Central Nebraska, some of the pastures I've seen in that area uh, don't look too good, really showing the effects of some dry conditions. What should producers be thinking about at this point in the season? Well, you know, we're, we're winding up uh, the growing season in terms of uh, more so our typical native grass uh, range production. And so I think uh, uh, depending on what their conditions are, if they're dry or things are looking pretty good, they still need to, to, to monitor their pasture utilization as we get in through the fall months. Uh, um, hopefully they can can end the year, the grazing year, with, uh, with uh, good conditions and, and uh, it's a nice amount of properly grazed pastures out there. Your presentation today was on grazing systems research. Give me an overview for right. people that weren't here. Um, in, our, in our research, this is some longer term research that we've been doing with grazing systems and basically we were comparing uh, three different systems and they each have different lengths of period of grazing in a pasture. So one of the treatments is a common continuous, season long continuous. Oftentimes you're in the same pasture for 150 days or more. Another more uh, simple rotation, uh, comparable to a four pasture rotation, you might only spend uh, roughly 40 days in each of the four pastures. Then we also included a management intensive type of grazing system treatment where uh, the occupation or the time in a pasture is only three days. And so obviously with that type of situation or system, you have a lot of pastures that you rotate through very quickly. And some of the things we've seen with that work is that as you get into the rotation systems, it does make a, a marked difference in the distribution of grazing across the pasture. So it, it really does increase your efficiency um, compared to that continuous one where obviously you have areas that are pretty heavily grazed by the end of the year then you might even have some areas in that pastures that are that are not grazed at all so definite advantages to to these uh, rotation types of systems right is that a recommendation or are you to the point of making recommendation or telling producers to think one way or the other oh ab absolutely and, and we've done that uh, uh, in terms of our some of our recommendations and suggestions for for a number of years now but uh, with, with this work, we're able to, to put some hard data, good data with it to, to really show the, the difference that some of these different management systems can make. And what part of the state did you conduct this research? This was a Sandhills uh, type of research on, on, on native Sandhills range, yeah. Describe what stocking rates you were working with in that research. In that research, uh, we did have two different levels of stocking rate. One was, um, we call it moderate, or the, the recommended stocking rate for that type of, uh, of rangeland. And then we bumped it up to one and a half times that, or we call it the heavy stocking rate. It was pretty interesting to see in terms of uh, that heavy stocking rate. Most of the, the, the factors or variables we were looking at they held up pretty well the first uh, four or five years, but then it was like we almost hit a threshold in terms of what that heavy stocking rate effect was on the plant community. And you know, certainly after the fifth year, started to see some big, significant changes that we were grazing it too hard. And so uh, we started to have a lowering of the range condition. Some of our desirable species were starting to disappear and you know, typical weedy type of things were um, um, starting to show up. So with that stocking rate, yes, you know, a person may be able to get away with a little bit heavy stocking rate uh, for a few years, but it is cumulative and it will catch up with you. You can find more information about managing forages, pastures, and ranges on UNL's beef website. We'll link to those resources on the Market Journal homepage.